Well, we have a record-breaking show today <laughs> at the High School Huddle. It's not anything that, that we did. I'm Travis Brown. This is Eric Zorati, editor of DFWVarsity.com. But it really has to do with our epic moment, and that is Alito Kicker's Chance Navarez uh, breaking the record for consecutive point-after uh, kicks with 116, broke the previous re record of 114, so uh, congratulations out there in Alito to Chance Navarez. Eric, you also have an epic moment from this past week. Yes, uh, Arlington, Sam Houston Texans, 3-2, and two, their best start in 21 years. Uh, Texans have found a way to, to win early on. We'll see what happens, if they can keep it going. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's get right into the games. First, we have Arlington Lamar versus Arlington Sam Houston, 7 p.m. Thursday at Wilman Field. Uh, what do you see in this matchup? It's a, this should be a pretty, pretty close one, pretty good one. A uh, lot of offense is what we'll see. Uh, Sam Houston's got a really good offense. It's run first. They've got a good quarterback in Irvin Hill. Uh, he has 700 yards rushing and about 500 passing. Uh, he's also got two uh, players, uh, Dalon Woods and Darian Flowers, that he can hand the ball to or throw to. They're definitely effective offensively. Defense is their, their weak point. They've given up 172 points. Uh, Lamar uh, is more balanced. they got Shane Bouchelle as the quarterback. Um, they're about 1,000 yards rushing and 900 yards passing. Um, they can control the ball uh, pretty effectively. Uh, I'm afraid that Sam Houston will come up short this week. I'm going to go right there with you. I always take a, a good quarterback in Texas high school football. I'm going to ride Michelle and the defense. They have a stronger defense. Uh, always ride the stronger defense as well. I have Arlington Lamar in that one as well. Next, we have Midlothian versus Mansfield at 7 p.m. Thursday at Vernon Newsom Stadium. Uh, th this is another interesting one. This is a, might be a battle for that last playoff spot in the district or third, fourth place between these two, depending on how the rest of the, the, the season shakes out. Uh, who do you have in this one? Uh, you're right. It's uh, definitely going to be neither team wants to. I mean, they've really got to win this. They don't want to fall behind the other really tough teams in the district. Um, I got to, because it's a home game, right now I'm going to say Mansfield is going to win this thing. Right. I, I, the thing about Mansfield is they're a little bit one-dimensional to me. It's, it's, it's all about the run. I think Midlothian will be able to stop that and have to force them to pass on, on offense. And I, I, I feel like Midlothian has a little bit of an advantage in this one because of Mansfield's one-dimensional nature. So uh, I'll take Midlothian on that one. Next we have Keller versus Keller Fossil Ridge. This is a great matchup in uh, District 4 5A with two teams that, uh, it, it really in a whole district, that's kind of up in the air on who's really going to solidify themselves at the top, but it kind of Keller Fossil Ridge seems to be the front runner. Do they do it in this game? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Fossil Ridge is definitely on a roll. They're probably the hottest 5A team in the area. Keller was on a, on a great roll. They were 3-0 in, in non-district play, but they've dropped two in a row uh, to start District 4-5A. It's going to be uh, uh, a big challenge for the Keller Indians. Uh, Fossil Ridge has got a great quarterback, Jacob uh, Nachinski. Oh Thank it's, you. It's a hard one. Nichinsky. I think it's Nachinski. Anyway, 1,300 passing yards. Um, Keller just they don't I think they're going to come out on top because they just don't want to drop another district ball game. It'll be an upset but I think Keller will take it. I look back at, the, at just the previous schedule on this one. We have Keller losing to Justin Northwest pretty decently to start out district schedule and then Keller Fossil Ridge playing just Northwest last week and Northwest just unable to do anything really on offense against them. I think Ke Fossil Ridge rolls through this one. That's at 7.30 p.m. Friday at Keller ISD Athletic Complex. And finally we have definitely the matchup of the week. Mansfield Timberview versus DeSoto. DeSoto uh, is as far and away put themselves up as one of the top teams in the state, but Timberview came back as one of the most complete teams in North Texas. Does Timberview have what it takes to knock DeSoto off their undefeated streak so far this year? Timberview is a really good team. Both teams are undefeated. Timberview is outstanding. DeSoto is unfortunately a lot better. They just have so many offensive weapons. Uh, Timberview would have to control the ball, I mean run the ball like they like to do, and come up with like I think three turnovers to, to have a chance stopping DeSoto. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen. There's a reason why DeSoto has been nicknamed the, the U. They send so many players to D1 universities. They are a step above, I think, just about any high school team in the state this year. 
the game not only in that the game is at Eagle Stadium in DeSoto. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's DeSoto wins this one. We'll just we'll we'll go with that. DeSoto uh, wins this one on a way to a deep playoff run uh, for some future predictions there. Let's go no huddle real quick. Irving MacArthur at Colleyville Heritage. Uh, Heritage is at home. I'm going to give them this one. I'm going to go with Heritage too. I like their uh, their their offense, their their passing attack. And be sure to check the text edition of this in a Thursday's paper for a little bit more breakdown on that Irving MacArthur and Car Colleyville Heritage game. Next, Fort Worth Arlington Heights versus Fort Worth South Hills. South Hills, back so, on the winning track. I, I got South Hills on that one too. Arlington Heights, a little bit of a down year for them. Grapevine versus Irving. Uh, I'm going to pick Grapevine. I'm going to go with Irving in this one. Uh, Mansfield Legacy at Waxahachie. It's at Waxahachie, but I'm going to go with Legacy. Oh, give me Hatchie on that one. And then finally, Arlington Seguin versus Lancaster. That's a tough one. Uh, I'm going to have to say Lancaster. Yeah, both teams should be evenly matched. I'm going to go Seguin in this one. Um, thanks for joining us this week. Be sure to go out and support your local high schools. Come back to DFWVarsity.com for the best recaps and stats from those games. And then we'll see you back here next week for the high school huddle. Yep.